I want to preface this video by saying that um, this is not a roast or an attack against FGO tubers that like to make GSSR guides. I know this is a very popular trend and I generally find these videos really entertaining, but I guess take it as an excuse from me personally as to why I'm lazy and I don't make these kinds of videos. So let's get into it. Hey everybody, Plushy here. It's that time of the year again. This year is approaching its end and we're about to welcome a brand new year. And when that happens, all the FGO players know that they can look forward to the GSSR banner for New Year's. And this is a very big event that only happens twice every year. And it is your best chance to get an SSR in this game that has really crappy rates. And obviously with this very big sort of event going on, um, people want to make content out of it. And once again, I find them really entertaining, but I just wanted to sort of explain why personally I don't make it and I don't recommend you to follow them too closely and rather make your own decision in the, at the end of the day. There's basically two ways to approach this question of which bag should I pull on. Uh, the first approach is which bags has the most particular servants I want to snipe for. Um, and you know, these are usually how these guides approach it as well, because it's easier to talk about the stronger servants um, within this whole roster. Well, I don't think this works really well, considering they're increasing the limited SSR pool every single year. And if you see, if you take a look at this year's uh, New Year's GSSR in particular, every bag has at least six servants. And if you're trying to snipe one or even two out of them in particular, you're most likely going to be pretty disappointed. And I've seen people who follow these guys like very closely and they just anticipate everything. You know, they even build their future role plan based on their GSSR results. And then in the end, they didn't get what they want and they quit the game. Uh, this is really extreme, but I have seen this happen more so than I would like every single year. So this is the first advice, which is I don't recommend follow the, following these too closely. I recommend sort of not have too much anticipation in general, because at the end of the day, it is a lucky bag. It's more so for fun. And it is a chance for you to get what you didn't get in the past. But at the same time, if you anticipate too much, you're just going to get really disappointed. Um, obviously, there are outliers such as uh, this year's anniversary GSSR in JP, where there is an assassin banner that only has Kama, Koyan Light, and Semiramis. And, you know, that is a pretty good banner to pull on because two out of the three servants are really, you know, meta relevant, I suppose. But even then, uh, you can still get screwed by the one out of three. Yeah, and uh, in particular, uh, banners that have like more than four servants, in my personal opinion, it's just really not recommended to expect a result from them. And the second approach is sort of crossing out all the quote unquote misses, either dupes that you don't want more MP copies of or servants that you just generally don't like or are generally weak. Uh, this is actually a pretty good uh, method statistically because you technically take the least L's, but uh, at the same time, are you really having fun and enjoying the, the $15 you spent if you're not going for what you really like and you're just getting someone mediocre in exchange, but hey, you know, technically I didn't lose. So I don't know, this is, this is less of a sort of technical recommendation, but it's more of a mindset recommendation, I suppose, which is I think everyone should just pick what they enjoy the most and um, don't overthink it. Uh, overthinking GSSR usually leads to just massive disappointment and a lot of sadness. And I don't want to see, you know, a supposedly happy event to cause people this much despair. Um, it is unfortunate that the FGO devs decided that they want us to quote unquote have fun over us to actually get what we want. But, um, you know, you got to adapt around it, I suppose. And lastly, I just wanted to say, um, once again, no offense to any of these uh, GSSR guides out there. I think they're very interesting, very entertaining, because usually they uh, boil down to a quick rundown of all of the sort of meta picks in the roster or some people with the actual, you know, really good dedication, they actually make like 40 minute videos and they go through every single servant, which is kind of insane in my opinion. I would never have the patience to do something like that. So, you know, props to you guys. Uh, but uh, yeah, I would mostly take these videos as entertainment over than an actual guide compared to 
something like a servant review because I think, you know, a singular servant's breakdown is a way better guide uh, compared to recommending you to pull a mixed bag of servants and hoping you get one out of seven. So anyways, uh, this is sort of a random video that I had on my mind for quite a while and I just decided to make right now because I have no other content to make. And um, yeah, and hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.